Morocco may not have won, but they still won. Morocco has been able to achieve the unthinkable this World Cup. Almost the whole world doubted their abilities and almost no one believed in them, but Allah did. But coming this far and defeating some of the world's best teams isn't the only thing that Morocco has achieved. You see, Morocco has been able to deliver to the world three powerful messages we will never forget. First and foremost, they taught the world to never doubt Allah, regardless of your circumstances. And in all their success, in all their achievements, and in every win they were blessed with, they let the world know it was only from Allah. They taught the world to thank Him for every blessing and to know that it is only through Allah's support are they capable of accomplishing anything. So thank Him and always stay humble. And after thanking Allah, Morocco taught us to thank and honour our parents. In particular, our mothers. In a world that is suffering from the destructive breakdown of the family unit and where parents are left abandoned and neglected, Morocco came in and showed the world the true value of family. The world was blown away by post-match celebrations with Moroccan players honouring their parents. This viral embrace of Ashraf Hakimi took the internet by storm. And of course, this playful dance of Sofiane Boufal is playing out to be the most wholesome image of the World Cup. Let's not forget Sofiane's careful adjustment of his mother's hijab in the process. Respect. But above all, the most compelling lesson that Morocco taught the world is that the bond Muslims share is the most powerful uniting force on this planet. And while this may have only just been a football game, it was able to bring together the entire Muslim world to stand in unison. Morocco wasn't only being cheered by the entire African continent, but by every single Arab and Muslim nation, from Morocco to Qatar to Saudi to Libya to Syria to even Gaza. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. He is with us, all the Muslims, all the Moroccan fans, all the people around the world who are with us. They're praying, they, they are crying, they are happy. This is, for, this is for you, this is all for you. You see, while Mbappe may have been carrying France, I think it's fair to say that Morocco was carrying the Muslim Ummah. Morocco showed the world that the bond that Muslims share is not one that is separated by borders, flags or nationality. Our bond is one that is tied together by a shared belief in Allah and his Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A bond that is bound by belief and one that is thicker than blood. As Masood Ozil eloquently tweeted, Morocco's win was an achievement for the African continent and the Muslim world. A win that will give so many people power and hope. Yet by far, the most powerful display of this Muslim unity wasn't through our unified support of Morocco, but rather for a country that represents the heart of the Muslim struggle, Palestine. Throughout this entire World Cup, the Palestinian flag and the Palestinian cause has taken center stage. From the celebrations of Moroccan players to almost every game that was played, to the many Israeli reporters that were snubbed, the Palestinian struggle was loud and ever present. I think it's clear to see that Palestine and its people were a clear hallmark of the World Cup this year. So hold your heads up high Morocco, you've delivered the world a powerful message that we will never forget. Thank you.